Welcome back everyone. Advertisers are working hard right now to sell our children on the must haves for back to school and shopping. And even very young children can be seduced by the enticing ads, but it's up to the parents to put these demands in perspective and help children make reasonable decisions. How do you do that? Well, this presents not only a challenge, but also an opportunity to teach children skills and attitudes for life. Here to talk with us, no one better than developmental psychologist, Dr. Marty Erickson. She's the co-host of Mom Enough. We're so happy you're here with us this morning. Always happy to be here, Adrian. You know, this yeah. time of year, kids want to grab everything they see. They do, they really do. And you know, there's so many ads that are targeting children. And of course they have their required list of back to school items too, which can really cost a lot. But this is a great opportunity to have fun with your kids and also to teach them to be planful, responsible, work within a budget, um, learn how to work for what they want if you can't cover it with your budget. So a um, number of things that parents can and should do during this time. So what advice do you have for parents who are dreading that back to school shopping? They've received the list from the school and they have to go brave the crowds. Right, and then the kids are wanting all the coolest clothes and you know, that's a part of the experience too. So first of all, when your kids are saying, I've gotta have this, I've gotta have that, acknowledge their feelings. It's very tempting to say, oh, you don't need that. But that just really makes them more determined to fight for it. So just say, I can see you really would like to have that. Let's talk about how we're gonna do back to, back shop, back to school shopping. Um, so that's the first step. What about waiting? I feel we, when I was a child, would get the necessities first and other things would come later throughout the school well, year. Well, somebody in your family was really smart to have that pattern because a lot of people feel pressured to do it all right now, especially around styles and things like that. Kids might think they have to have something now. They get to school, especially middle school where style is so important to kids particularly girls, and they find out that's not even what the cool kids are wearing. So it's really smart to wait um, and let your kids know that you're gonna do what you have to do now for their required um, equipment and, yeah. and supplies and wait later for the other stuff. So I'd say the main mm -hmm. takeaway, set boundaries, and there's a few weeks left in summer if kids want extra tools for school, Yep. Do some tours around the house to earn some money. That's right, exactly. And you know, when you are shopping, do it in two stages. Do a scouting visit, take notes on what you want, and then sit down and look at the budget and decide which of those things you can actually have. That's some great advice. I love it. Parents, I hope you wrote all of that down. If you didn't, we have you covered. Thanks again to development psycho developmental psychologist Dr. Marty Erickson. All of this information will be on our website, care11.com, after the show. We're back with your forecast after the break.